Okay, well, we can stay home. Okay, let's. Give me your name and spell so it's on the tape. Mark Zupan, M A R K Z U P A N. All righty. Okay, anytime you're ready. Okay, and mine is Bobby, B O B B I E. <laughs> yeah, but I'm getting, a, I'm getting an audio level on him. <laughs> okay, very good. Mark, welcome to Dallas. Thanks. I must tell you that um, this movie hits so close to home to me because uh, I have a brother who is now deceased, but he spent many years in a wheelchair. Okay. And he was a double amputee, uh, war injuries. Okay. But um, anyway, um, it, it just uh, it, it it just really um, made me remember uh, his courage and his sense of humor about his situation. Right. And actually, when he was in a VA hospital, he he did play basketball, wheelchair basketball. Okay. Some. So uh, anyway, um, having said that, everybody looks at that title, Murder Ball, and says, "Whoa, what is the title all about?" That's the name that it was given back in. I think the late 70s. They just had to change it. They had to change it from murder ball to wheelchair rugby because corporate sponsors were kind of like, murder ball? We're going to give you money for what? So it ended up changing, but I think it's coming full circle now because in theater, so, you know, it's kind of funny. The rules for it, it when, when I've been saying to people, you know, uh, it's about rugby and they right. play it, uh, in wheelchairs and and uh, if people are just astonished you know they can't quite visualize it so uh, give me a very um, brief explanation of how the game is played it's full contact wheelchair rugby so you can hit somebody as hard as you possibly want to or can it's played on a basketball court with four people on one team per side it's played with a volleyball the, uh, the objective is to score with the volleyball in your position possession over the opponent's end line now you have four players on each side right the players are rated aren't they according to their capabilities yes ma'am it's they're rated de depending upon their function so it starts at 0.5 and goes to 3.5 and in increments of 0.5 and you put eight points on the floor at one time with making up four people. So you could have three, two twos, and a one, any combination of that. So it, it makes it so it's equal on both sides to an extent. It gets to be a numbers game and it gets kind of like chess. What is your rating? I'm a three. So it that means I have almost, almost the maximum amount of function to play this game. And how long have you been playing? I've been playing since 1996. Are there such things as fouls that the referees can call? Yes, ma'am, there are. The fouls, any person-to-person -person contact. So if I was to swipe for the ball and I hit your leg, it's a foul on me if the ref chooses to call it. There's a turnover if you don't dribble the ball or pass it within 10 seconds. That's a, that'll be a turnover and the, the other team has possession. There's, you have to get the ball in bounds within 10 seconds, you have to get the ball over half court in 15 seconds so those are all going to be turnovers but the main foul foul like person to person foul would be hitting them rather than just chair and chair contact in watching it where the chairs collide mm -hmm. and sometimes a, a chair gets knocked over uh, the chairs take a terrible beating but they are modified for the game aren't they yes ma'am that's the the whole thing about the chairs are that's what they're meant to do it's kind of a sick thought that you're going to spend 3500 bucks on a chair just to beat it up, but I mean that's that's the game and that's the fun in it, I guess. And can they take this abuse year after year the same no. chair? No. You end up getting a new chair probably after about a year or a year and a half. So, it kind of doesn't sound like a a wise investment if you will, but you know, it allows you to play the game. One of the things I found very interesting about uh, just as a person who loves film, is that while this is a documentary, the way it plays out, Mark, it could have been a scripted sports mm. story because it has all that momentum and that yeah. suspense of, you know, are they going to win? What's going to happen next? 
And one of the things, of course, that uh, turns the story on a dime, so to speak, uh, is um, when one of your team mayor, one of your team players, defects to Canada right. and becomes its coach, right. and he takes them to a victory over the U.S. team in the World Championships. In yeah. the World Championships. Okay, now that man's name is Joe Soames. Soros. Soros, excuse me. Oh, no worries. Uh, Joe Soros, yes. That man's name is Joe Soros. The what's become of him? I don't know. Well, I he got fired from the Canadian yeah, team. Yeah, no, I know. I just, I don't know. I don't really keep tabs on the man. The man and I don't get along. We haven't gotten along since 96. He'll, he'll be coaching somewhere. He's not going to coach the U.S., but he'll be coaching somewhere, I'm sure, because he has the knowledge. I just don't know if the way he conveys it is something that I would stand for or like to hear. At one point, though, he wanted to come back, or he applied to coach the U.S. Right. team. He didn't get the job. Well, duh. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. At least somebody else understands this. <laughs> he doesn't still, but hey. Um, you make one statement in this that just um, it keeps coming to my mind time and time again, and that is that you do more in the chair than when you were able-bodied. Right. Now, just talk to me a little bit about that. I've done more in a chair. I mean, I have. I've seen more places in the world. I've experienced more things. I've met more people. I've just I've had fun. I mean, you can't let a, a wheelchair keep you from doing what you want to do. I got a better education. I mean, I transferred to Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech's one of the best engineering schools in the country. So, I mean, I found rugby. We could sit here and just, you know, yammer about that all the day. But it's, it's been fun. I mean, without, there's been hardships, of course. But with any new situation, you're going to find things that you're like, oh, well, this was difficult, but we made it through it, and we we go on so it's been fun I, don't, I wouldn't change it I mean we wouldn't have be having a discussion today about film and about a, a movie that's I happen to be a subject in about wheelchair rugby so I guess that works hey another very very touching part of the film to me is <clears throat> Mark that it speaks so much about forgiveness oh, of course and uh, explain how you became paraplegic. Quadriplegic? A quadriplegic, excuse me. No worries. Me. I was 18. My buddy and I went out after we had won a soccer game. He, I wandered out of the bar, passed out in the back of his pickup truck. He wandered out about an hour later, hopped in. He was drunk. He drove. He spun out, threw me out of the back of the pickup truck, over a fence, over some trees, into a canal where I spent 14, 14 hours hanging on to a branch until somebody found me. So, unfortunate accident. I mean, forgiveness. With with Igo, Igo came into the, the hospital the next day, or I don't even know, the next day or the day after. And I said, you know, what? what's the problem? I forgave him instantly because it wasn't his fault. It was an accident. So he just had to forgive himself. I mean, it was hard for him because every time he saw me, it's like, wow, I did this to the man. It was kind of interesting in Athens. He, he and I were sitting next to each other, and I looked over, I go, you ever think we'd be here? Like, I knew we'd be somewhere, but I guess I didn't know it was to this magnitude. Did you ever think this was the best thing that's ever happened? He's kind of like, huh? I'm like, do you? So he sat there and he thought about it, and he's like, wow, I actually understood that. And you could see it. He could see it in my face, and I could see that he's like, oh, all right, I get this now. This isn't just a line that that you say. So That just moves me. That moves oh. me. Because forgiveness is, is not always an easy thing. Oh, of course not. But that just, that really moves me. Um, so what's the next big game? Next big game for the U.S. team is 2006 World Championships in Christchurch, New Zealand. So we have tryouts November 1st. So I'm going to get back into some game shape. This has been kind of a fun summer just to take some time off because a lot of the times you're 
continually competing so you have to be in your chair and you got to be training and so right now I've, all I've been doing is lifting and it's been it's been a nice little break so you'll go to New Zealand hopefully yes if I make the team and then Paralympics 2008 in Beijing and that's the big I mean that's the we're talking the the big the big time so hopefully we can get our gold there get our gold at world champs and say it's been fun it's time to go Time to go have, you know, start a family or go down another path. So many paths life leads, you know. And in New Zealand and China, more tattoos. You can add to your tattoos. You've got an arm there that hasn't yet anything on it. Oh, yeah, an arm and a leg. I don't know. You better talk to my mom about that one. She's, she's like, did you get another one? I'm like, no, Ma, it, it, was, it was there. And it just kind of continually does that. It just keeps growing. And she's like, oh. Just shakes her head and says, okay. <laughs> not, not a whole lot else she can say, you know. Mark, delightful meeting you. And congratulations to all of you on Murder Ball. Thank what, you. What a beautiful, magnificent piece of work it is. And I'm just hoping that people who have um, the vote and the say-so remember Murder Ball when the next Oscars come well, out. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it's it. It's going to get my vote. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's thank you. My pleasure. Okay. Now. Oh, let me just. Okay. <laughs> um, I I've never been to China, but I've been to New Zealand. And you, of course, I've been to New Zealand. Yes. You like New Zealand? Do you like? Did you go north? Did you go north? I went north and south. Did you? What I was your favorite? All righty. Okay. Okay. Could you explain how the game is played? The game is played on a basketball court with a volleyball. Okay. No worries. Are there such things as fouls? Any person-to-person -person contact will be considered a foul. The players are rated. What is that all about? You're given a, you're given a point value depending upon your disability, how much function you have. It starts at 0.5. What is your rating? I'm a three. Okay. Um. The chairs, of course, have been greatly modified for the game. They're pretty much like a battering ram. You're strapped in and you just hit somebody as hard as you possibly want. Okay. Um, does, uh, do the chairs have to be replaced every so often? Sure. They, they'll probably last about a year and a half and then you have to get a new one just because they're not true. Um, Your one team member, Joel Soares, who defected and went to Canada and became the coach there, and then that team ultimately beat the U.S. team in the Olympics. Let's not say Olympics because that gives away the ending because oh. they don't know. Oh, oh, okay. You know, because right, then it, fine. Just, it, sets oh, okay. up, it just sets up. All right, up. let me do it this way. Let me do it this way. You can say world champs. Okay, all right. Let, all right. Let's do it this way. What has become of Joe Soares, who was on your team, but went to Canada, coached their team, and they became champs. So what's become of him now? Because he's been fired from the Canadian team. Champs. I still don't know. What can you, should you yeah. say beat at world championships? World championships. Just because okay. cause then they just <coughs> associate. All right, let, let, let me if that's back right. off. Because uh, I, I should, you do, yeah. Just because that sets up, that sets yeah, up okay. the ending. All right, let's so do it this way. What has become of Joe Soares, who was on the U.S. team, but then went to Canada to become their coach? I don't know. I know he got fired, and then he's apply he applied to be the U.S. coach, but I don't know what has become of him. He'll coach somewhere. I'm just not necessarily sure where. Is that cool? That's cool. That's cool. real cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. What is the next big game? The next 
big game are World Championships in Christchurch, New Zealand. So we get to train for that and then prepare for 2008 in Beijing. Now, in New Zealand, Beijing, you're going to add to your tattoos? It could very <laughs> well happen. My mother might not enjoy it, but it's very well a possibility. <laughs> okay, that's a wrap. <laughs>